The questions we asked our subjects included their name, place of origin, major if applicable, their religion, the impact of religion on their life, the level of exposure they have had to other religions, their perspective on other religions, and whether or not they think it is important to study other religions. The three of us then reflected on the class, how it has changed our views, and how it might impact us in the future. The following interviews will answer these questions. Enjoy! Hi, I'm Kayla. I'm an occupational therapy major and I was raised Catholic. How has it impacted your life? Um, being raised in a religious family and going to church every weekend gave me a set of uh, values and beliefs and I use these values to um, help me in making decisions in my day-to-day -day life. How much were you exposed to other religions before this class? Um, before this class, I was only exposed to religion, like Christian religions. So t I, taking this class has helped me to um, become more aware of the world religions. How do you view other religions? I view other religions as being equal. I don't think any one religion is better than another religion and I'm open to learning about the different beliefs between various religions. Why do you think it might be important to study other religions? I think it's important to study other religions because it just gives you background on other people's beliefs and where those beliefs are coming from and it helps you to really understand them better. Okay, thank you. Hi, I'm Meg. I'm a biomedical sciences major and I'm Catholic. How has your religion impacted your life? I think my religion influences me on a day-to-day -day basis because the values that I grew up learning have kind of become like a set of guidelines for me that I use as I make decisions. How much were you exposed to other religions before this class? My high school was pretty big and there was a lot of diversity in it, so I had definitely met people of other religions before taking this class. How do you view other religions? I view other religions entirely openly. I think that it's important that everyone has the right to um, practice their own religion, and I think all religions are important. Why do you think it is important to study other religions? I think that as you come across people of other religions, it's beneficial to have a background about their religion so that you can respect them and also have more to talk about and be able to relate to them more um, as you get to know them. Hi, I'm Olivia Staff. Um, I'm from Penyon, New York, and I'm a freshman legal studies major. Um, I'm an atheist, so I do not have any firm religious beliefs. I don't believe in any God. Um, while I don't believe in any religious figures myself, I do believe it is super important to respect um, all the religious beliefs of anyone that I come into contact to, uh, into, into contact with, um, in order to get along with them, to um, if I have to work with them in, in like a, a professional setting, I want to be able to um, know all that I need to know about them to be able to um, be respectful and um, just be aware of um, their perspectives on the world. Um, which is why I also think it's very important to study other religions, just so um, you're not, I'm not completely misinformed. Um, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of anti-Semitism, like, anti-Islamophobia um, in the world, and I just, um, after taking this class, I feel like I won't be swayed by opinions or perspectives that buy into those things. So I, I have a clear, um, sort of like historical point of view on each religion that we learned about. Um, and I think um, that'll help me later in life, like professionally or just as a person. It helps me be more understanding of um, the decisions that other people make and um, just how to, how to coexist peacefully with other people, with other religions um, that don't believe what I believe, which is not really anything. Um, and I think um, overall, this class has helped me see um, see how different people can be. What is your name? Aaron Siebert. Where are you from? Spain. What part of Spain? Galicia. I don't know where that is. It's <laughs> north of Portugal. What's your major? 
Music composition and piano. Okay. What is your religion? I'm agnostic. How has this impacted your life? I think it has positively, positively impacted my life by stopping me from following doctrines that aren't necessarily grounded in anything that's true. Okay. Um, <clears throat> how much have you been exposed to other religions? I've been mostly exposed to Catholicism and European in Europe and to Judaism. Okay. Um, how do you view other religions? Um, I view them positively in the sense that they provide a chance to understand what religion is as a whole and I view them negatively in, when it comes to um, the way that they consider themselves unique and they reject others. Okay. Do you think it is important to study other religions? Yes, I think it's very important to study other religions because it provides, um, it gives you a perspective, uh, an overall perspective of all of what religion is and it helps, um, it just helps have a deeper, a deeper awareness of what common elements are and therefore to better understand what the meaning behind the different symbols and statements and stories and really anything related to the religion are. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> what is your name? Anna Marie Pollock. Where are you from? Uh, suburbs of Chicago. And what is your major? Religious studies and psychology with minor in peace and justice. Okay. What is your religion? Uh, Catholic. And how has it impacted your life? Um, I was a lot more involved with it when I was younger, but not so much anymore. And I believe in it, but it's not an everyday thing in my life. Okay. How much have you been exposed to other religions? Um, as a religious studies major, I'd say a lot. Okay. And, like, how? Through classes. Classes, okay. Dr. Nowak. Alright. And, um, how do you view other religions? What are your perspectives? Uh, I think they're all equally valid and important. And I think people that believe in any religion aren't necessarily wrong, it's just what they believe. Okay. And do you think it is important to study other religions? Uh, I do, because I think that allows you to find out why people act the way they do, with example, like ISIS, obviously, mm -hmm. and how they believe, or what they believe, and that's the actions they take. Okay, thanks. What is your name? My name is Sophia, and my major is biochemistry, and my minor is pre-med and Spanish. All right. Where are you from? I'm from India originally. I came here to the United States four years ago. Okay. Uh, what is your religion? I follow Islam. And how has it impacted your life? Uh, has it impacted my life? Well, it, uh, that's hard to answer because <laughs> I follow it, and it's just there and I mean it's it has impacted me to be kind it has impacted me to uh, think of Rafi Muhammad as a role model and just be nice towards everyone okay how much have you been exposed to other religions well recently I took a Res 101 course at Nazareth and I learned about Sikhism Christianity Buddhism Hinduism Christian, did I say Christianity? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, one, two, three, four, five. Sikhism, Buddhism, Hinduism, Hinduism, Buddhism, God. So a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, there were a lot of them, basically. So, <laughs> so we just learned a lot. So I got exposed to the different religions, definitely. All right. Um, and how do you view other religions? What are your perspectives on them? Mm. So recently we watched, um, the last class, we watched this um, speech by Valerie Kaur. Mm -hmm. And it was, she's a Sikh, uh, like her family's Sikhs, mm -hmm. they're Sikhs, but she's an American. 
but after 9-11, you know, there are a lot of things that mm -hmm. happened because she was sick and they are thought as Muslims. So that's what, like, that has really impacted her life, definitely, because she's she just recently gave birth to a son and she feels she's really scared. She never knows what could happen to her son. Mm -hmm. So, but still, she believes that everyone can come together and we can make a change. Mm -hmm. Right. And do you think it is important to study other religions? I think it's really important because you can relate to them. Sometimes you can make connections between your own religion and the other religions. All right, thank you. Yeah. How does religion affect, for better or worse, the human pursuit of a life of meaning, purpose, and fulfillment? Um, I think for some people, their religion is like, how they think they should live their lives. Like I know in Judaism and Islam, they have um, their holy texts are like the guidelines for their life. They set down like laws, like Sharia law and the Talmud. They they give the, the people that follow their religions like a code to abide by. And so um, I feel like for some religions like that, the, um, the guidance that people are given by their religion are kind of like, the guidelines that they want to follow to achieve happiness in their lives and um, it kind of just gives them a purpose and like meaning like to, to work towards and stuff like that. Yeah, I agree what you said about giving uh, people something to work towards. Like I know in Buddhism the goal is enlightenment and for me the goal um, is to eventually make it into heaven. So I think that, yeah. Yeah, so I also agree. I think religion is what brings people purpose to their lives and I think it sets out goals that people should achieve and that's what makes people feel like they fulfilled a great life. How might the study of worldviews and spiritualities different than your own contribute to constructing such a life? I think that learning about other religions and their values just gives you more perspective and you can add in some of those values to your own beliefs and that can give you a more fulfilled life. But then also when you learn about other religions, you have to use critical tolerance because sometimes they might be wrong and it's important to recognize when that happens and then that can strengthen the beliefs that you have that might be opposite of that. Yeah, I feel like playing off of the critical tolerance part, um, like once you, once you, like as an atheist, I have to learn to accept everyone's beliefs, so there's a lot for me to learn. But um, in this class, I feel like I learned about a lot of like cultural things that um, could help me like get along with people better. And personally, I don't have any like religious goals to fulfill, but I feel like if um, my life would probably be like happier if I w was friends with people that I like understood and like respected because I knew like my my one friend Sophia who is also in this video um, she's a Muslim and um, I get along with her really well because I know like about her culture and like she like on this campus she's an advocate of like um, halal food for Muslim students and stuff like that like kosher for Jewish kids too and I feel like understanding her and like what she what she wants to accomplish better is helping me like have a stronger friendship with her so that's like how i would fulfill like how religion like understanding religion is going to help fulfill my life goals and stuff like that so mm -hmm. yeah i think that like coming from a small town i had only been exposed to christianity goals and like that way to fulfill your life so after taking this class i've definitely learned about other people's goals and fulfillments and it's just given me a new perspective that there's many ways that people can fulfill their goals and find purpose in life. How has religion impacted culture? So I think religion gives people values and guidelines to follow, but oftentimes it leads to extreme interpretations of what it's actually telling people to do and it results in conflict between like Christian like religious groups and other groups in society so for example like the tension between the Christian churches and the LGBTQ community yeah but then I also think at the same time that sometimes people or the groups like that can be defined by the religion that they are. So for example, like people from the Westboro Baptist Church who may not support gay rights, 
are kind of, it's almost assumed that all Christians believe that, even though they don't, yeah. And um, another example would be ISIS. Most Muslims don't support what ISIS does, but it's associated with that. So that's something that our culture could really learn about and improve on, um, making sure that we know about the religions and what they really do um, preach, I guess and that followers of those religions are probably good people for the feel most like, part. Yeah, I feel like, <clears throat> not even just like today, those examples, but like in history, like there's the Crusades, like mm -hmm. um, like that's like the prime example of people taking too far, like what religious doctrines say and stuff like that. But I mean, also like the cultural aspects today, like even like in the past, like TV has been censored, like, they only, like, in the past, like, 50s, 60s, they only really portrayed, like, family values, like, Christian family values on the television and, like, stuff like that that has, like, changed since, like, <clears throat> like, today, like, there's not, not as much censorship based on, like, what will offend people, based on, like, religious beliefs, like, there's Comedy Central, which offends almost everybody, like, South Park, stuff like that, which, like, aren't actually politically correct, but, I mean, what can you do nowadays, like, people yeah. are just, like, like free speech is all we're all for free speech today. So <laughs> and as a culture, like I think we've definitely become <clears throat> more secular yeah, than we were in the past. Yeah, with... because yeah, because we don't let like Christian like you can't just like I know we're a mainly Christian nation, but we're supposed to be like the melting pot of like all cultures. And so I feel like we really have been like listening to that and like secular like becoming more secular and like not letting religion as as much into like everyday aspects of life. So. Mm -hmm. In what ways, if any, has this course caused you to stretch or adjust your own views of spirituality and culture and or your quest for ultimate meaning and purpose based on these views? I mean, I can't say that this course has really changed anything, I believe, because I still wasn't raised to believe in anything. <clears throat> um, I mean, I've considered like the values and like the truths in like Buddhism especially, I think, really got to me just because it's all about like being peaceful and like meditating and stuff like that. It's like good karma and everything. Um, but I can't say that my own beliefs have been stretched because I don't really have any. <laughs> just a, like a comparison to you guys. So mm -hmm. I think after <coughs> taking this course, I'm more open-minded. Um, before I took this course, I wasn't really educated on all of the religions and I sort of already had an idea in my head of what each one believed. And now after taking this course, I realized that it's not as straightforward as you would think, and there's so many, there's like so many varieties mm -hmm. of religions, so. Yeah, I think for me, um, I was able to like kind of take points from each of the different religions that we learned and kind of incorporate them into my own beliefs, and that's been really like a good way to strengthen my own values, and I really appreciated that. How has this course affected your ability to understand and empathize with those who have different upbringings than your own? I think that learning about all the different religions gave me um, a better understanding of them. So when I come across people who believe in those religions, not only will I be able to respect their beliefs and their traditions, but also since I'll have that background understanding and know where they're coming from, I'll be able to talk to them more and form better relationships with them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I agree with that. I think that this course definitely helps you to understand other people's beliefs and where their beliefs are coming from and I think it will be useful in my career as an occupational therapist because I'm going to have to work with so many different people who are all going to have different beliefs and I think it's just going to be helpful if I can understand the background. Yeah, I feel the same way. Like I want to be a physician assistant so I'm going to have patients of all different beliefs. Just yeah, yeah I feel the same. Well, I want to be a lawyer, so lawyers come into contact with literally yeah. everyone. Yeah. So, but also, I feel like I feel like I really haven't. I mean, as I'm already an atheist, so I don't have any beliefs, and then I have to like, I've already pretty much grasped all the Christian beliefs because I grew up in a very Christian like hometown. My hometown is very Christian, and so I know mostly about them. And then coming to college is like ex expanded my my view of like because I've met everyone from every religion. Like I've met Buddhists. Muslims, like Jewish people, and I've never really met Jewish people before, so mm -hmm. it's like coming here and taking this course has like taught me a lot about people.
people with different faiths. And I think while I was already pretty accepting of people with other religions, I feel like learning about them more has kind of broadened that. So. Mm -hmm. Coming from a Christian background, what from this course has surprised you the most? I think that um, learning how similar the Abrahamic religions are is what surprised me the most. I guess I did. I never realized how similar Judaism, Christianity, and Islam all are. They all have like similar teachings, and I just that was what surprised me the most. Yeah, that surprised me too. And something else that I thought was really interesting was the Indian story of the blind man and the elephant and how each man was feeling a different part of the elephant and they were describing it different ways and it's because none of them could see the whole thing and that's kind of like how people are like we all see the world from different angles but no one can really put it all together and it was kind of shocking to me like maybe everything that I've always believed in and like grown up believing maybe isn't true or it's not necessarily the whole story. So just thinking about that, it just kind of gives me more perspective. Yeah, and like each religion almost takes its own perspective. Yeah. So yeah. it's really interesting.